guys i had to put a camera on because i got an important topic that i want to talk about let me turn the radio off real quick and um i'm recording on my phone don't mind the stuff in the back but today was my last day at racetrack <laughs> yes your girl is upgrading to bigger and better things i want to talk to all my ladies this video right now well this clip is for my ladies um I just feel like I gotta just come on here and just give like a lot of encouraging words to like a lot of ladies right now because I feel like we're all going through the same thing. So, make it long story short, I literally just met this lady this morning. Um, I was walking out to the car, putting my things in the car, and she was sitting out there like all night long. So, make it long story short, um, she was like, hey, good morning, you're very beautiful, stuff like that. So, I was like, oh, thank you, love. You know, I could just tell like it was something where her mood, her mood was off like, I felt it in my spirit. So make a long story short, I was like, hmm, I wonder what's wrong with her. Like, she been out there all night. So anywho, make a long story short, um, she ended up coming in. She ended up buying some cigarettes because she was stressing. And she literally was like, I have so much stuff going on. I'm literally trying not to cry. Because me and her was just talking. And she was just like, oh my gosh, you're just so beautiful and stuff like that. Like, she was really encouraging me when I felt like she was the one needed to be encouraged. So make it long story short, she was just telling me how she had all this stuff going on. But you know, not saying too much because she really don't know me. Oh my gosh, y'all look at that. Look at that view in the back. Oh, I'm getting distracted. But she really didn't know me. So I felt like she wasn't really trying to indulge too much into the conversation. But it's like she wanted to have the conversation. So make it long story short, um, she ended up like walking around the store. But like you could just tell it was like something just really bothering her. Like the way she was just moving this stuff. So anyways... Um, next thing you know, she goes to the ATM. She pulls out $60 off the ATM. And she comes back over to the cash register. She gives me $30 and she gives um, the dude who I was working with $30. You guys go. I want you guys to have an amazing day. You know, like, don't let nobody mess up you guys' day. I want you guys to just get something that you would just, it would just, like basically just make you happy. So I'm like telling her, like, no, you don't have to give me your money, love. Like, I was like, hey, you know, like, whatever you're going through, like, it's going to be okay. And she was like, no, just please take it. Like, it's going to make my day, like, if you just take this money, just because I'm already having a shitty day. So I was like, okay, I'll take the money. So I took the money and I was just telling her because I'm telling her like, you know, I was like, God is with you each and every single day. And I was like, he's really taking you through a season of where certain things need to be revealed to you right now. Because like where he's trying to take you, certain people can't go there with you. And I was like, and I know it sucks because I pretty much just went through the same thing. And make it long story short, she was having dude problems. The dude she was with basically cheating on her, she said. Okay, y'all, so like I was saying, before I had got home, I was trying to, like, get myself, you know, together, whatever, like that, and I'm just going to take my prenatals, but, um, anyways, so her boyfriend basically was cheating on her, she ended up finding some messages last night when they were together, and, um, you know, you know, it kind of just basically, like, broke her heart, hold on, I'm too good, the sky is so pretty. But yeah, I usually take morning walks every morning just for a couple minutes just to try to get some exercise in. Now that I'm pregnant, cause I'm really trying to be like fit too, kind of like I'm really working on y'all. Look at the baby dog. They always out here too. That's the mama one. And then that's her kids over there. Look at him. He laying in the road. Basically, like I was saying, she been having dude problems. Um, she ended up finding some messages last night to do with cheating on her. So she ended up taking him somewhere. She was telling me, I can't really remember, but you know, and um, just like literally a couple days ago, well, actually the day before yesterday, um, my best friend actually ended up calling me and she was actually having some trouble as well. And I just feel like I've been running to everybody who's been like necessarily, not running to them, but I just feel like I've just been so guided to like, share this like testimony basically because like i said i kind of just went through the same thing with um not necessarily the same thing but like you know just i could relate to some of the stuff that they're dealing with with like the father of my child um so when this morning after the lady had left and she gave us the money whatever oh yeah y'all put it right here let me show y'all because ain't no cap in my wrap you know the 30 dollars she gave me and um she gave the dude 30 dollars too make it long story short and that's so pretty I'm like mad out of breath because I do be out of breath, y'all. I'll be tired. Um, so like I was saying, because I keep getting distracted. <laughs> um, basically, I just feel like I've been so guided to just like share the testimony with others. And so basically, make some story after she gave me the money, whatever. 
I stood there for like a second and I was like, hmm. And my friend was like, what's wrong? And I was like, you know, I was like, I'm gonna step outside real quick. I was like, I'm gonna go see if she's still out here because something's telling me like, you know, my spirit basically telling me like, go have some words with her, like go talk to her. So, you know, and it just every, I just feel like every female know how another female feel and like she's going through something like that just because I feel like we all been there. And I'm gonna take a break and sit right here and talk to y'all. So, I'm gonna be like so out of breath. So, um, I went outside. She was sitting out there. She was smoking cigarettes. Like I said, she had bought some cigarettes. So she was sitting outside smoking some cigarettes. And she was like, oh, man, I wish I could smoke a blunt right now and all this other stuff like that. And I'm like, girl, you good? But I was just like, um, you know, basically I told her, I was just like, you know, I just felt by spirit like I was really guided and led it to just come out here and just have a conversation with you. Like, are you okay? You know, stuff like that. Like, talk to her on a deeper level. And then the fact that we had more um, privacy. So, you know, I, we just started getting really intimate into the conversation we end up both start sharing a lot of stuff and you know i was just talking to her and stuff and she was just like oh my gosh like i just know you're so wise and she was like you got to be at least like 20 something i was like i'm 22 and she was like oh my gosh like the fact that you are so young she was like you're just so blessed hey thank you girl i was like but yes and i was like but no you're blessed and i was like and everything you're going through right now is literally just temporary i was like god is literally taking you through a season of revealing like he wants to reveal this stuff to you i was like because us as women we are very naive when it comes to a dude and when we feel like he's doing wrong for certain women i'm not gonna say all but i feel like then again it is all because i feel like if someone is constantly showing you red flags why don't you act on those flags right then and there i just feel like sometimes us as women we're very loving caring in nature and so we be trying to see the good in people instead of just actually believing like okay this is wrong this is what's wrong this is what's wrong otherwise if it excuse me if it was somebody else or something something else we'll check it right then and there excuse me but when it comes to a person that we're dealing with it'd be really hard i don't know why but it do like it's really hard to explain like if you get it you get it the girls i get it get it get it the girls i don't you just don't and then not only that um like i was telling her i was like i have invested so much time and energy into a person it's just like it, it kind of be a little bit unbelievable to the fact that they would even do something can't believe like this person would do something like this but then you already knew too because she was telling me how she had actually got drunk too and she was saying because she was drunk like she was really in her feelings and i prayed for her on my way home before i actually started recording and i was just telling god like you know god like really be with her like really give her some love and some confirmation right now and just wrap your loving arms around her and just let her know that you are with her each and every single day and before she try to seek love in anybody else make sure she turn to you first father lord like just like really be like i was just really going in because it was just like something just was like pray for her as well just because like i just felt like she was really down this morning like she said you know what let me pull out the camera because this is the second person i done dealt with within the last 24 hours that's going through something like this and i feel like a lot of times us as females too we don't necessarily like to talk about our business because we don't have a lot of people that we can talk to about our business with you know because we have certain friends and so well really i don't really necessarily have a lot of friends i have like more of associates like i'll tell you like i'm really like a genuine person like i connect with a lot of people i have conversations with a lot of people like i'm really like a people's person but i'm a people person through spirit i don't know if that makes sense but a lot of people be drawn to me just because i'm a child of god you know and i'm one of the chosen ones so I'm one of the realest ones that you would ever meet. You understand what I'm saying? So I just come in contact with a lot of people and I literally have like spiritual connections and deep conversations with people when they run into contact with me. And one thing they always say is, for one, you're so wise. And for a second, they always be like, it's literally like I'm talking through God. Everything happens for a reason and you meet so many different people in your life exactly for a reason, for a particular season. And just get it back to what I'm saying. I just feel like if you one of those females who's struggling right now through your relationship or you just came out of a relationship, me out of all people, y'all, come over here and come talk to your girl because you know what? I just went through it and I was going to make a separate video about this, but I'm going to shed a little light on it in this video. Literally in the beginning of my pregnancy, y'all, I was so depressed. I was sad. I was mad. Like I was going through all the emotions and stuff like literally in that last video, like a few days after I posted that video, y'all. I was going through it like really, really bad. And I didn't know how I genuinely felt until I like literally sat down and I talked with myself and I was talking with God and I was just, and I was into my Bible and stuff. And that's another reason like why I feel like it's very important to have a sacred connection when it comes to your father up above. You know what I'm saying? Because he will lead and guide you. He's just powerful. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even have the words, but 
I was really going through it, y'all, in the beginning of my pregnancy. Like, I've been telling everybody that, and that's, like, something I was telling her last night, too. Like, you know, just shedding her a little light on my story. And I'm just telling her, like, you know, and just how I am today was not me a few days ago was not me a couple hours ago like you know like we're constantly changing but it was just like the fact that i was so down like i don't think i ever been that down like i was so i just feel like if anybody's ever going through something like i've been telling everybody literally i've just been telling everybody like it's temporary and god is trying to do some magic in your life but unfortunately it's people around you who is not supposed to go with you so therefore he can he will continuously showing you this person red flags keep showing this person red flags and if you don't pay attention he's going to force your hand he's going to make you isolate yourself from this person or from these people and this is everything i'm telling y'all right now this is exactly what i've been telling everybody else like god don't play no games about none of his kids you understand what i'm saying and one thing about me too um when i was going through it i was saying this prayer to god you know basically it's just telling him like you know father whatever's not in your alignment for me like remove it uh, i just want to be strictly with you i want you in the driver's seat of my life i want you to continue showing me leading me guiding me through this path i no longer want to be stagnant because i feel like i was like very stagnant you know and i was just getting very personal with him with the prayer and so much stuff god started to remove out of my life that i didn't realize was interfering with his plan that he has a lot for me and i was like i wouldn't necessarily say questioning it but i was upset because he was removing all these things but then again i ended up telling him like you know what father god i am so grateful that you have me on this journey i am so grateful that you've been removing all these things that are no longer serving me just because it wasn't in your alignment what you had planned for me and then not only that it's just like this is the prayer that I've been praying and you've been giving me what I pray for. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Father God. Because he never, he never do me wrong. Like, never. And he would never do you wrong. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't know, you guys. I just feel like everything that I'm saying right now is just very important. I just feel like there's somebody out there that needs, somebody else that needs to hear this. So I'm just sharing. But, you know, I'm definitely one of those people who start talking and I won't stop talking because I always get into, like, I get into it, babe. Like, I get in my preaching mode for real. But anywho um it's just like it was beautiful to me but at first i didn't see it like that like i wouldn't necessarily say i was questioning him but i'm just like dang like bro all this stuff is happening but then again i took a moment to myself because i'm one of those people who can honestly like sit and self-reflect and analyze the situation and i could realize like where i'm wrong or where i'm doing something wrong or stuff i need to fix like i'm one of those people because i'm really trying to become the greatest version of myself like you know what i'm saying that's where i'm at right now so i'm one of those ones that can do that so when i finally was like okay he did it for this reason and then not even that morning this is the prayer that you've been saying to him so he's going to give you exactly what you asked for it might not be when you want it but it'll become because i swear like that prayer i was saying i've been saying that prayer for like a little minute and like he was doing stuff like little by little but over time when he did the big dramatic change i was like you know oh hold on like what's going on bro like you are talking to me about this one you ain't tell me how this was gonna happen but then it's like and sometimes too he won't even tell you because it's like he wants you to like i won't say like see it or like figure it out but it's like i've been telling you this i've been showing you you just wasn't listening to me and i've been talking to you the whole time because i feel like a lot of people say well i haven't been hearing god's voice i haven't been hearing god is always talking to you he's always sending you signs it's just if you're paying attention are you being obedient or not be obedient you know what i'm saying you have to definitely be obedient like that's why i'm learning too like i'm just like learning to like be more obedient when it comes to him like if he tells me to do something like do it don't wait like what am i waiting for like what are you waiting for and out of all people who are you trusting more you understand what i'm saying so i just hope everything i said that uh, it hit somebody you know take what resonates leave what don't but if you out there and you're somebody that's going through something i just want to know that you are very much love you definitely have a purpose and if you need somebody to ever talk to or you looking for somebody that you can just confine in or think you can relate to honey i'm definitely one of those ones this may sound cliche but i'm definitely one of those ones who's seen it all I haven't done it all but i definitely haven't seen it and i've most likely been through it and i definitely can relate to you honey and you guys can always contact me all my social media is on the screen in the description box down below reach out to me you can email me dm me tiktok snapchat i don't care what it is like my line is always open and i love talking to people and i feel like that's one of my gifts as well is talking and meeting new people and basically just sharing my life sharing my testimony like share my life story, like you know and i just love serving god and i just feel like a lot of time i think i spit y'all i think a lot of times he does have me talking to a lot of people and that's another reason why i'm on this platform is really to really 
engage more with not even say society but just engage more with my audience and just let whoever can relate to anything that i'm going through who can relate to some of the stuff that i'm doing you know like we're a team we are a group as one we're one overall so i don't really know y'all i really ain't got the words but i'm about to get back up i'm about to finish my walk but like i said i hope that resonates with whoever needed to hear it excuse me but your girl is doing so much better now i'm happy right now in life um you know i'm doing good i'm four months pregnant now i'm like um uh, i think i'm like 13 weeks and like five days y'all like this stuff it's been going by really fast i still got a little belly welly but then again ooh, y'all see that don't ah ah but anywho i'm mostly <laughs> y'all it's so funny but nah like you know your girl just hanging in there I'm dropping banks for y'all period but anywho make sure y'all subscribe to my channel period like go ahead oh okay make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure y'all hit that bell button for post notifications and turn them on so that way every time your girl posts you guys already know what to see and what the gag is and that way y'all could be in tune with all the exclusive and never miss a beat like what but yeah y'all like just life has just been treating me good and another thing is just i really just been into my bible like i'm not even joking with y'all like i really just be getting like so close with god just communicating with him every day praising him and just really working on myself and loving myself again you know which is not saying i don't love myself but it's just like we always think that we oh i love myself self-love this self-love that but let me tell you something god always send you them challenges and them tests just to truly see if you love yourself and just to see if you're gonna cross them boundaries and them limits that you said you had <laughs> he'll do it because he did it to me well not saying oh but yeah he will because he will test you you know he will test you just to see where you really at and you know it's not a necessary like we fail but it's just like when this test come around again you need to make sure you pass because you should already know what to expect so yes yeah, like i'm basically back loving myself again getting myself back to well i wouldn't say back i'm elevating i'm evolving i'm transforming baby i'm getting there like i'm going up the ladder okay i'm not staying here and i'm not going down here baby i'm going up okay period because the only way is up okay so yeah y'all i'm gonna stop talking and rambling but i don't know if this is just gonna be the video or i might you know add something to this or i might just leave this a raw uncut version of Mulan monet because baby i just feel like this message was very powerful and i just want to tell you guys again that i love you guys you are worthy you are fearfully and wonderfully made by the one and only creator above make sure you guys give him all the glory and honor because he definitely deserve it and just know if don't nobody love you baby god love you you understand what i'm saying y'all have a blessed beautiful day and like i said in my last video i love you guys stay true to yourself continue being authentic and just watch and see what god's gonna do for you watch them doors that he's gonna open for you <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next one bye what's up you guys i know it's been a minute don't do too much <laughs> don't do too much on me okay but listen y'all i miss y'all so i had to come and make a video okay so it's aggie because i don't have my camera i had to sell my camera so i'm actually recording on my phone right now and i'm driving i just went and got me a veggie sub from publix because your girl is hungry but I know I've just been needing to get some content out for you guys and it's just like bro so much stuff that has been going on it's like every time you think you're in a space of like where everything is aligned it's like everything is truly not aligned like God always have other plans and other missions for you to fulfill when you think you like made it or you're like where you're supposed to be and I'm eternally grateful and it's just like I feel like it just would be just be messing me up and I know I gotta start being a little bit more consistent because this is definitely something that I love doing it's just I just feel like every time something happened like it like I feel like it really be like whooping my butt like <laughs> spiritual warfare for real um but anywho I have so much tea for you guys up and on like if you're new here hello welcome if you're returning hey girl hey y'all already know it's your girl Mulan and um 
first off i do want to say thank you to just like all my supporters like people who have been supporting me along this journey especially like some of you guys know that i am pregnant um i just want to say thank you because i know like it's just it just my journey haven't necessarily been like what i thought it would have been but it definitely has been a beautiful journey that i just wouldn't trade for anything and i want to get a little bit more in depth about that because i feel like it's a lot of stuff that people actually don't tell you or talk about when they're pregnant or like the things that you actually go through you know everybody is different but just from my personal experience i have a lot of stuff that i actually want to share and just talk about with you guys and just in case anybody out there is going through the same thing may go through the same thing hopefully they don't but it's just like um life just be really have a funny way of showing you you know um the experience you're gonna go through and it's definitely like an experience that you didn't think that you would necessarily probably go through like i said but um yeah y'all like i don't even know where to start <laughs> like i really don't even know where to start since i made that last video when i first announced that i was pregnant um you guys like so much stuff happened since then like i really don't even know where to start like i don't even know what to tell y'all about the journey like it's it's crazy Oh, I'm so mad because my lane just merged and this man wasn't even trying to let me over. Then my lane just ended and he like he wouldn't even let me over. People are so rude. Like, ugh. That just, you're not going to mess up my day. Like, I'm having a great day. I'm very grateful for this day. Um, I'm definitely going to have a better day than I did yesterday. And I'm even recording today. So, like, he's not going to ruin my mood. But, um, y'all, my birthday's coming up. That's one thing, too. I'm going on the cruise. I'm going to Bahamas not even ready y'all i'm not ready y'all um i gotta do my hair i gotta start the washing and detangling process that iron and stuff i think i'm gonna be getting a ponytail a 30 inch ponytail so um i gotta get my hair as bone straight as possible i know i look crazy right now but like i said don't do too much don't, don't have to do too much okay um oh guys i'm having a boy i was just about to tell y'all my son is kicking me right now he really is he's been really kicking up a storm like for these past three weeks um i think um 24 25 weeks now this little boy just been kicking up a storm Hey guys i don't even remember where i left off like fill you guys in with the tea um but in that last clip you guys seen i had to go to the hospital um i'm fine baby's fine um i just kind of had a little bit of spotting this is like tmi but i had some spotting um that night and then the next day when I got up, I was still spotting a little bit. So I went to the hospital because also I really haven't had any prenatal care for like the last couple months because I had to switch over my insurance to get my free Medicaid because baby who? Um, so I just went to the hospital and also I kept running fevers. I kept being like sick. So I ended up just going to the hospital just to make sure like everything was okay. All right, y'all. So the ending part of that video had got messed up because for some reason it was recording in slow mo. So basically, what I was just saying is that um, I just ended up going to the hospital. They was checking on me and the baby. Everything was pretty much okay. They ended up checking my cervix. I was my cervix was still thick. I, like I was fine. I wasn't ready to like go into labor or nothing like that. And pretty much they couldn't really give me a direct reason for like why I was spotting. They gave me a list of um a paper like a list of like things of like what it could have been but they really didn't give me a direct reason but other than that it was just like you're fine baby's fine you know um just set up you know your appointments and stuff for now to like start seeing your doctor like getting back consistent with your prenatal checks up some things of that nature and now i do have my medicaid so i will be doing that and um yeah so i just been getting on that more and actually let me show y'all my bump because i know some of y'all gonna see they gave me this at the hospital too and i kind of just been wearing it because it just I don't know for some reason i feel like it feel good on my back because i've been having a lot of back pain and so i just kind of kept this so yeah like i said i'm six months i don't mind my bed back there because 
I just been in and out of it. Yeah. So that's baby right there. Um So yeah, right now I'm just honestly just working on some new designs. If you don't know, now you know. Your girl got her line that has been out for a little bit. Um, right now I'm just working on some new designs, like I said. And actually, as we speak, I'm literally waiting for two designs to upload right now. Actually, let me see the day drop. I'm going to have everything in the description box for y'all to check out. The link will be right here on the screen as well. So just make sure y'all just check it out and see what your girl working with. You guys, a little sneak peek of what i am actually um, been working on. Just been working on a lot of new things. And when I kind of get into a mood where I don't feel like myself, I sometimes just go and just try to work on some new designs or create some new, you know, stuff just to just get my mind off things. So, yeah. Um... So let's see. I'm gonna have to turn the camera. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop it and then I'm gonna just actually I'm gonna just put it on the screen so y'all can see the two designs I'm actually talking about right now. As I speak with this video, they're gonna be um, they're gonna be live. Then yeah. So also y'all, I don't even know like what to say like. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, it's just been so much stuff going on. And once you think you're in a place of like where you're supposed to be, it's like so much other stuff just reveals itself. And, you know, you just have so much stuff going on. And I've just been in the mindset of like where I have like three months left before the baby gets here. I've just been trying to change, you know, um, just certain circumstances that I have going on. And I just want to like make sure I'm providing a better life for me and the baby. So I just kind of just been duck dog you know i know you guys haven't like really heard from me on like none of my social medias like i be active but i haven't been consistent with like my posting and things i usually do like making videos and stuff like that like i haven't really been up to it like i just been kind of going through it too um i just feel like going through this pregnancy is definitely like a humbling experience and it just definitely teaches you so much about yourself and i was actually telling my homegirl this other day i was like bro like i feel like pregnancy really teaches you a lot about self-love like and don't get me wrong like yes i love myself i respect myself but it's just like certain things i didn't necessarily have certain boundaries and standards with it's like pregnancy like re-humbled me to uh to the part where i look at a lot of stuff different now from like a different perspective like okay this is what i have to change this is what i need to work on with myself this is what i need to stop allowing this is what i need to set boundaries with this person is not no longer good for me need, like you know like it just really gave me a deeper insight because like i already was doing that but now that I have somebody else to think about, it's like, okay, like, this is not going to work anymore. Like, because <laughs> I feel like sometimes certain situations are like certain people, you know, or like whatever's going on, like, we, we lowball ourselves and we put ourselves in certain situations because I feel like we always try to see the good in people. We always try to give people the benefit of the doubt, like, or whatever the situation may be. And we just really don't realize that we be self-sabotaging ourselves. And I'm one of those ones where I guess you could say, like, I'm a people pleaser because... I genuinely care about people. I love people and I just love going out my way for people just because I just knew if I was in that type of situation or if I was going through something like whatever someone's going through, I want somebody to give me the same support that I be giving out to other people. And unfortunately, like people are not the same like that, you know, so I just had to realize that a lot of energy I was putting out, I wasn't receiving, you know, I had to stop being easily accessible to other people. And you know, I don't know. I don't want to talk y'all ears off too much about it, but I just definitely feel like like pregnancy is definitely a humbling experience because it just make you reflect a lot about yourself as well. And um, your girl definitely been going through it. Like, <laughs> you know, um, I actually, excuse me, I actually had made another video. I never even got the chance of posting. Um, I might post a little clip of it in here. I don't know yet. But um, I was actually talking to you guys just about my whole experience in the beginning of me being pregnant. I'm six months now. In the beginning, I think when I made that video, I was like three months or like three months ago. Um, you know, I was just talking to you guys about like how I was like super depressed in the beginning, how I genuinely was just feeling and just like nobody told me this. Like, you know, people make pregnancy look so beautiful which it is don't get me wrong you know you have your days you have your moments but nobody really talks about the down effect you know everything is a cause and effect you know what i'm saying and nobody really talks about like the aftermath 
Y'all don't mind that knucklehead out there. That jet been barking since 5 a.m. this morning. He's like ridiculously crazy. But um, yeah, I just feel like there's so much stuff that people really don't talk about in pregnancy, which I feel like they should definitely acknowledge more, especially for like first time moms, because like I, I can admit like some days I'll be like feeling bad because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm mad. I feel like this or I feel bad. My baby has to feel this or like, you know, but it's like, dang, like I'm human, like how do I get through this? And it's like, I get through it, but it's just like in that moment, it's just like, I just feel like I'd be so hard on myself because it's not only me who's feeling like this, like the baby's feeling like this. And I don't know. I feel like me and my baby have done created such a good bond too, because I feel like sometimes too, when I get sad, like I feel him kicking me, like not saying he like, dang mom, but I just be feeling like he be just be letting me know, like mom, I'm here with you too, you know? And that's something that just be making me cry even more because it's just like, uh, I don't even know y'all it just be like and I'm not a cry baby y'all oh my gosh throughout this whole pregnancy I have cried so much <laughs> like people wouldn't even realize like uh I know like I always seem like I'm such a happy jittery person but like bro like this experience has just been amazing it has definitely been life-changing and it definitely just made me reflect so much more and just it just makes me like just want to go harder for myself and just make me want to go harder for him oh sorry guys I was yeah the two things i just uploaded on the site so y'all better go make sure y'all check it out but yeah um it's just crazy like you know it's crazy beautiful um and i'm just happy right now like i know i tell people like i'm happy but it's like i'm happy because like after i have my moments you know i just really talk to myself a lot and you know i just analyze a lot of things i'm able to like take accountability with stuff so I just put my head in a different space and like you know like when i'm feeling bad or something this is what i do i get up and i work on designs for you guys i work on flyers i do a lot of stuff behind the scenes you know that makes me feel good about myself and you know just up my spirit a little so yeah and i also got to finish my hair kind of also because you guys about my hair i started detangling it putting the conditioner stuff in it but honey boo boo if y'all see what's up under here i'll just have I can't like it, it's too much work but I gotta finish it because I gotta get this ponytail because your birthday is literally in four days like um <laughs> yeah like it got to get done so yeah right now I'm just like I said I'm watching this Des Dior interview because she gave me a little inspiration motivation I, any people anybody that I look up to I kind of just watch them as I'm working just to you know give me that boost to just like okay girl keep it going you got to get this done you got to get this done so after i'm probably working on these designs i'm probably going to be um making a couple of flyers and stuff like that and um i don't know just whatever i do i'll probably just go back up the camera and just talk to you guys and just record just so you guys could be along with me on this journey and i know definitely i just have to work on being like definitely more consistent and who Whoever watching me right now, y'all already know, like, this channel low-key finna turn into, like, a mommy channel. Like, and also, you know, whoever knows, like, good breastfeeding tips, um, and, and cal the encapsulation for the placenta, let me know. Because I'm trying to find me somebody who gonna, you know, cook my placenta and, like, do all that stuff with it. Because I definitely want to get all my nutrients and stuff like that back. But we'll talk about that later. But if you're watching this right now and you, you know somebody or you recommend somebody, you know, let me know. You know, text me. DM me, email me. I don't care what you do. Just let me know because I'm actually been looking for somebody and I don't know. Like, it's hard to hit up. No. <laughs> but I'll see you guys later. Let me finish working on what I'm working on while I got the energy. And I'll check back in with y'all later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I've been trying to go to sleep for like the past hour and a half like one o'clock in the morning my back is hurting so bad like <sighs> mm, i don't see how people do this and have multiple kids like i salute to y'all but this is a whole another ball game and um i just been drinking me some ice water too so i've been running back and forth to the bathroom that's probably another reason why i haven't been able to go to sleep but my back right now is my gosh but yeah I'm gonna go to the bathroom again and try to go to sleep but mm. and I'm like wide awake cause it's like I can't even 
Mm, I have to try to go to, go to sleep, but I can't get comfortable or anything. And I just literally set up to try to like lean forward. That's why I'm like slouching like this, leaning forward. Um, I took the band off that I had on earlier. Y'all see me how earlier. But, um, I'll see y'all later because I know right now the quality sucks, but I don't see how y'all be doing it. <laughs> I don't. I still haven't been able to go to sleep, y'all. Can somebody tell me, like, I'm having this pain, like, I don't even know how to describe it. But I can feel it, like, through my belly button. And it's like, literally, it's like back to back. It's so weird. I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to sleep and I keep getting out. My back is still hurting. Like I can't even get comfortable because I'm just so uncomfortable. No, oh, but this this belly button pain is like so weird. It's like hurting right now. It's so weird. It's getting more pain, especially like down here. recording all this but just so y'all can see what this is like <laughs> like mm -mm. and the fact I keep getting this pain I guess I can feel it in my belly button but I mostly feel it like down here yeah I got the dark the dark light It's bothering me right now. I feel it here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, y'all. I've been trying to go to sleep, but I just can't. I'm so uncomfortable. My back hurt. And I just, that pain just started like a couple minutes ago and it's been like on and off right now. Like, oh my gosh. And that's actually new to me. I haven't been feeling that. Like, tonight's the first time I honestly felt that. Like, it's so weird. And it's just... I don't know. But, I'll see y'all later. What's up, you guys? <laughs> I'm placing late. Let me fix my collar. Hold on. Hey, guys. So, right now I'm at the doctor's. I haven't really been feeling y'all in, but I'm promise you I'm gonna be feeling y'all in. Don't get out my look right now. But um Never let me come over here real quick before I talk y'all because I'm like 20 minutes early. I'd rather be a little early than late, you know what I'm saying? But um oh let me show y'all my baby. He's so big. Um I just had an appointment literally last week. I had to come for my anatomy scan that I never got when I was supposed to be like um, 
I think it was supposed to be like 20 or 18 weeks. I can't really remember. But I was supposed to get my anatomy scan. And it was a whole situation with my whole insurance and all that stuff. I'll explain to you guys a little bit later. Um, so, yeah. I was supposed to then get the anatomy scan or whatever. Um, so, I've been ended up getting my anatomy scan. So, I'm back this week today to actually see the doctor. Um, just make sure everything's okay. And I got a couple of questions and concerns for him. As um, far as like water birth thing and things of that nature because i actually want to try to have a water birth oh my gosh y'all my camera looks so glossy let me wipe y'all off Wait. yeah that's much better i want to try to have a water birth and i actually want to try to go natural too y'all i don't know how that's gonna go but um anywho so i'm back here today i am 26 weeks that'll be five days today so i'm not sure if they're gonna have me do my glucose test or not but i was just like you know what let me pull out the camera and just record and really fill you guys in on everything that's been going on because um i have not been recording the process like i wanted to um you know how you just plan something but things never go as planned so you know y'all have to excuse me but appreciate the little content y'all do get okay don't come for me so yeah um I'm just take y'all along, show y'all what I do at my appointments, and yeah, and then also y'all, I literally finna leave to Bahamas this Friday, so hopefully he gives me the approval because I honestly didn't even ask him for an approval, but I'm gonna be asking for approval, and I have to ask him approval for flying because I'm supposed to be going back to New York to see my family, and I actually want to spend Thanksgiving with them before I actually go into birth. Well, I actually go into birth before I go into labor, <laughs> but um yeah so enough of me talking so i'm gonna go in here and check in a little bit early so hopefully they get me out early and then yeah i'll just record and just show y'all you know like what i do so i'll see you guys in a little bit say hey baby hey <laughs> So I'm waiting now to go back and my side is hurting. <laughs> baby movements yeah yes. he was just kicking me <laughs> did you leave us the urine sample already? yeah do you have any questions any concerns no ma'am did the father of the baby do the genetic testing no, no. Mm, and i think that was the only question <laughs> let me get your blood pressure really quickly You still have the order in the box for that. Yeah, he can still do it though, right? Yeah. Okay. But the it's only at the lab downstairs. Okay. Thank you. 
118 over 68. And then he'll be in soon, honey. Okay. Thank you. You're He's been on this side lately. guys appointment was awesome um i'm explaining everything once i get in the car and talk to you guys but everything was great i'll be back in the next four weeks and yeah i'm gonna fill y'all up on everything okay you guys <laughs> all right y'all so just to fill you guys in by my appointment sorry if you hear a lot of noise clearly i'm driving i don't know how i really sound to y'all but i apologize in advance if it sounds crazy and rocky because this road over here is raggedy they need to fix this but anywho today's appointment was really really good um i did ask my doctor some of those questions that i was letting you guys know about so um for one he denied me for flying for when i wanted to go but he definitely told me i could still fly around this time just as long as i'm not past 32 weeks um the water birth he does do water birthing and one cool thing about my doctor he's a male doctor but he he teaches like birthing classes and stuff like that at the hospital i think i told you guys about that one time before and but he's a really good doctor like i did my research on him before i started going to him so i really like the fact too that after i changed my insurance and everything i was able to still be going to that same exact doctor and since he literally done seen me throughout my whole pregnancy um yeah okay and then so let me just fill you guys in a little bit of like everything that's been going on because i think the last time you guys really saw me was when um i was trying to go to bed one night and i couldn't i was having this weird pain in my belly button i was telling him about that too and he was just saying basically um that he was saying basically that that's that happens when um basically like my uterus and stuff is still growing and it's just my body is changing and that is getting ready to have a baby so i'm going to be feeling a lot of like discomforts and pains and things of that nature so i was like oh okay yeah you're right makes sense and um my appointment that i had last week that i was somewhat telling you guys about um we did the baby anatomy scan and which when i looked online they sent me my results and told me everything was normal but a lot of the a lot of his organs they weren't able to see so i actually have to do the anatomy scan all over again um in four weeks so i go back october october 18th i believe i go back october 18th and then i have a order those papers that was in my hand i have a order i have to do my glucose test i thought i was going to be able to do it today but unfortunately you actually have to fast because i was going to go right downstairs because usually he sent me right downstairs to do labs anyways and i was going to go right downstairs and get it over with but he was like oh you gotta fast or whatever and i was like oh yeah i definitely haven't fast because i literally just ate so i was like i'll just come back another time so um i think i told you guys too i'm going to the bahamas this friday today is um what is today tuesday so i'm going to bahamas on friday excuse me so i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it this week because i already have so much stuff going on that i need to do i still gotta do my hair so um i'm probably gonna handle that like as soon as i come back get the glucose test done and out the way i'm definitely gonna record and vlog that part and um yeah like now i'm getting like really towards the end of my pregnancy and i'm in a better mental space because it's just very tricky when you're going through something like this because it's just you think you're prepared for something and then you have all these crazy thoughts and stuff and then you're you, you like realize like it's like a scale like it's unbalanced like you have thoughts like this you have thoughts like that it's just like you always going back and forth in your head i can't speak for everybody but for personally me that's what it was like i wanted to really like record this whole journey be so open about it but guys it's been so much stuff that has happened behind the scenes that i just couldn't pick up no camera and talk to you guys because for one i was either hella emotional crying for two i just really didn't give a damn and for three 
once I start to get myself back together, it's like I just wanted to enjoy those moments instead of like making it seem like I was making it look good for the camera. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm happy that I'm able to record the little pieces and things that I have recorded so far. But now that I'm really getting towards the end, I really want to record more for you guys because I wasn't feeling it in the beginning of my pregnancy. And I feel like the farther alone I got, I started to fall more in love with the journey. And I just had to accept where I was, you know, like, you know. So that's going to be another thing that I have to do is the anatomy skin all over, the glucose test. And um, I think that was it as far as the doctors and all that stuff. But yeah, it's been about, but before then, well, yeah, it's been about like two months. I wasn't able to go to the doctor because like I was explaining to you guys earlier as well was that um as you guys know i had a previous job i didn't have insurance prior to that job so i ended up paying for my insurance through that job and then once i left that job um well i still had it for like a, a good month but make it long story short i was i was doing like co-pays too so i was like everybody was like you need to sign up for medicaid girl like you're pregnant like you get free insurance now like what's the point of paying when you get free insurance and i was gonna already stop paying anyways because i'm like i don't think they're gonna let me keep the contract or whatever so anywho, make it long story short, I had to go through that whole process. It literally took forever for me to get my insurance coverage. Thank God now I have it. I'm back constantly being consistent with my doctor's appointments and not missing anymore because um, as I was explaining to you previous clips as well, I ended up going to the hospital because that was around like half of the time where I wasn't able to attend doctor's appointments and a lot of people was getting on me about his movement because he wasn't to me I, I guess I wasn't feeling the movement because I, I probably didn't know it was movement but once I kept feeling this one feeling like I don't know like butterflies or something in your stomach like they call it like little flutters then I was like okay that's him kicking so you know and I just had to make sure that he was okay personally and I just had to make sure I was okay because I don't know if I explained to you guys as well but I had allergic reaction and I was sick for like three days and then after that I ended up catching a really bad fever and my guys let me tell y'all something. When you're pregnant and you're sick and you can't take no medicine, like, that was the worst. Like, I kept waking up crying. I could barely even sleep. Like, my fever had ran so high. It was ridiculous. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I was so over it at that point. And so, just make it long story short, back to basically what I was saying is that I just had, just wanted to go to the hospital and just make sure me and the baby was okay. And everything was perfect, basically home. <laughs> and I even got my service check for that first time. Um, it was pretty, it wasn't that bad. You know, I don't heard a lot of people talk about like getting their service check. Um, but for me personally, it wasn't bad. And um, she said my cervix walls was still very, very thick around that time, which of course they would have been because I'm nowhere near like time for me to have labor but you know and um yeah so i mean i think i pretty much put you guys in with the whole story of like my health as far as baby health like everything is good and not that i even got to explain because i was supposed to have a photo shoot for you guys was um that i'm actually having a boy i think i actually mentioned that already to you guys as well that i'm actually having a boy like <laughs> isn't that something but I'm so excited and I'm actually way more happier that it's a boy because um, y'all know like in the last video I actually thought it was a girl but it's actually a boy which I'm so happy about because I just definitely just want to teach him and just raise him to be a worthy servant of God and be a bright intelligent young man he's going to be and his name actually is going to be Messiah Amir and I just cannot wait to see him like I'm just so excited you guys like literally this pregnancy have definitely taught me and changed so much and i was just telling someone this too as well that pregnancy really does humble you which saying not saying that i wasn't humbled already but it brought me back down to a level of where i needed to be brought down to you know what i'm saying so i'm excited about that and I'm just happy and I'm just grateful for this journey that I've been on because I felt like too and also just felt like in the beginning I was definitely hard on myself I was definitely upset about expectations that I had and how things were going versus how they wasn't going in all reality all I had to do was just accept where I was and just appreciate the journey you know and 
one thing I just really took into consideration is that I know a lot of people really do try and struggle to have kids. And here I am, God blessing me with literally a miracle baby, y'all. And I don't know if I told you guys this either, but I used to always be like, if I ever had a kid, I want my baby, I want to have my baby on Christmas. Why am I having my baby two days before Christmas, y'all? Like, I just tell you, like, God always hears your prayers. And even though he might not give you something when you want it, like, and you ever heard he will saying, never forsake you. It might not come like, when you want it, but it'll be right on but time. But when you least expect it. You know, I'm just really blessed and highly favored. And even at times when things are rocky. Yeah. yeah. So I honestly can't even remember what I was saying because I just had got a phone call. Sorry about that. But I think I was pretty much saying, like, you know, like, even when things seem like they're not going your way, you just have to hold on a little while longer. Like, God hears you. He sees you. And he never, like put you on the back end you know sometimes i know we can feel like that because we feel like things are not going our way or it's like the small things we ask for we don't receive because god know what you need versus what you want you hear me i am definitely a true witness to that saying and so um yeah i'm just grateful for where i am and i feel like every time i do come back and record for you guys he puts me in so much of a better space even though i do want to start being a little bit more open with you guys when i am like going through something or you know i'm have something challenging going on because i feel like he put us through those moments to be able to be someone else's survival guy you know what i'm saying and it's like everything he do he molds us into being the person who we wish we had you know and and he make you that person for somebody else and you know you know sometimes you do have to take breaks you do have to put yourself first you do have to set boundaries you have to set standards and all those other beautiful things as well but um you know just don't be so closed off you know because there's somebody out here for everybody and it's somebody that's motivating uplifting and empowering somebody else you know that could be possibly going through the same thing or whatever the case may be so just keep that in mind and yeah guys i'm excited i'm going to bahamas excuse me excuse me oh my gosh guys let me tell you guys something acid reflexes have been the worst and literally i'm at the end of my second trimester I'm, i'll be um going into my third trimester in like the next two weeks well i guess i could say week and a half because yeah guess like a week and a half and guys the acid reflex have been killing me okay i've been seeing everybody talking about that and i'm like oh i ain't got that i got that literally right after i start getting acid reflex after everything i eat it's just reflex reflex we said like oh my gosh it is such a pain in the butt such a pain in the butt and right now everybody is making me mad because they're like they're scared to turn by this police officer like i just had to let myself like turn but yeah guys i'm excited i do have a baby registry that i am still working on as well but i definitely will put it in the description box just in case anybody's watching me that may want to support me or watching me and like i said want to support me support the baby i'm definitely going to link the, the registry down below you guys who don't know my baby moms um my baby moms is really like my baby moms we have the same um baby daddy i didn't want to say that word because i don't like the word baby daddy and y'all we have a crazy story we literally was like this in the beginning but now we're like this like we're in love with each other and i do love her and she do love me she better but um i just left her house to actually after i left the doctors i was over there for about like an hour and a half um i had to her and the baby some food and we we're just all talking and stuff like that i'm having a good time um she comes to me to my appointments like i just love her like she's very supportive and stuff and i just can't wait till we be able to actually share our story with you guys because um for those who do know us personally you know they was just like oh i don't see how you guys can be cool y'all was just about to do blah 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 blah, blah. But let me tell y'all one thing the category is growth okay and not even because um i got pregnant because honestly before you know all that like we was already working on our relationship to like put the beef behind us 
and now when I well when I did find out and she ended up finding out like yeah I feel like it just really just brought us closer but she has been nothing but supportive to me and I love her so much and Pookie if you're watching this girl you already know I love you like you already know we're gonna chop it up and be talking about this video <laughs> but yeah but like I said y'all I'm gonna keep y'all definitely updated with everything I am almost home yeah like that was pretty much my day like I had an amazing day and I just love what God do for me and the people he put in my path and I'm just truly honored and blessed to be who I am because I know like I said before earlier sometimes things get hard things get rough and we be wanting to give up or we end up comparing our lives to other people's lives when we haven't realized that we actually live the golden life you know what I'm saying um, one thing my child's father told me the other day was that someone he was watching, I can't recall the name I would ask, but um, he was saying how he was watching the video, it was an interview or something like that, and the guy was saying, um, if you was to hear somebody else's story, and both of y'all was able to put y'all problems on the table, he said, I 100% guarantee you, you'll pick up your problems back off the table, because once you hear somebody else's story or you know, you think your story is so bad till you hear somebody else's and you're like, you know what? Mine ain't that bad. Compared to you, I'm thinking my life's so crazy, but that's crazy what you've been through, you know? So just one thing, you guys, just always show gratitude and just always appreciate where you are versus where you aren't because um, you have to really appreciate the journey that is taking you to get there to make the reward so much better, you know? So just always remember that guys and i'm gonna see y'all later because my phone keep falling and the sun is messing up the video but i love you guys and i'll see you guys later bye hey guys so i came back to my um labs today i just got done um doing a glucose test but i ain't really finished i gotta wait for the hour for them to like draw my blood i had the orange flavor that's all they had she only had the one flavor it wasn't that bad. I literally drank it like within a minute because I was thirsty because I had to fast. So now I just have to wait an hour before they draw my blood. And I'm looking real cute with this. I had to pull up the camera so y'all could see me and plus give y'all a little update. My last appointment when I told y'all I had to come back and do labs. So yeah, I'll keep y'all updated and informed. And all right, y'all, I done got stuck. The process was really fast. It was in the rain. It was fast. Um. I got it in my right arm. <sighs> kind of out of breath. I'm so hungry, y'all. Because I had to fast. I haven't gonna say that so many times. Let me get settled in on combat it.